<laughs> We've had this golden opportunity to look at the structure of the population and really lay the groundwork for the question we all want to address, which is how do you survive in a in a hostile environment like this for 15 generations? How can that be? How does your DNA alter or change in, in a way that makes it more favorable for you? Maybe it'll be things that affect fertility. Maybe it'll be things that affect um, skin, you know, skin structure, how much, how much radiation is getting into the skin. Maybe there'll be things that affect fur, right? We honestly don't know. This ability to compare the dogs of Chernobyl to these uh, other village dogs and, and other breed dogs gives us a lot of power to, uh, to determine what the history, what the ancestry of these animals uh, is and, 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 and how they've changed over time.